In this video, I'm going to show you how to build and publish a website in Rapid Weaver 8. Get started by creating a new project and add your first page by clicking the plus button and choosing styled text. This will add your page to the source list. Double click and rename it as home. We're going to be using the mountains theme for this video. So open the theme browser and search for mountains. A key thing to note about Rapid Weaver is you have two modes, an edit mode where you add your content and a preview mode where you can see how your site looks. So this is the default styling for the mountains theme. Let's go ahead and add some content to our home page. I'm going to paste in some text. And because we're using a styled text page, we can style our content by using the options down the bottom here. Let's go ahead and add a heading at the top. Highlight the text and then choose heading one from the menu here. We could also add a block quote I'm going to paste in some more text, highlight it, and then choose block quote from the drop down menu. You could also make some text bold if you wanted to. Simply highlight it and choose bold from the options here. Now if we go to preview, RapidWeaver has added the content for us here. Next, we'll want to customize some details for our site. Let's have a look at changing the banner image and updating the site title and slogan. To do so, go to the general settings and enter your site title and update the slogan. If we scroll down, we can see we can add a site logo and banner here. To do so, I'm going to use Unsplash. So open the resource browser and choose Unsplash from the sources list here. Then I'm going to search for an image. Find one that you like and drag it into the site logo area. Then I'm going to do the same for a banner. Again, scroll through the results and find one that you like. Then simply drop it into the banner area. Next, if we go back to the home page and preview, you'll see we have a new banner area, the site title and slogan have been updated, and our site logo has been added here. So let's continue and add our next page. Click the plus button and choose contact form. Double click and rename this as contact. By default, RapidWeaver will create these four form fields for us. We'll also want to customize some of the text. So open up the page inspector. This is where you can control all of the details for each individual page. For the contact form, we'll go to the plugin settings and the customizable text tab and paste in some text into the header area here. Now, if we preview our page, you'll see RapidWeaver has added that content and built a form for us. One other thing we might want to do for this page is add some additional text in the sidebar here. To do so, open up the page inspector again and go to the sidebar tab. Here you can add a title and content. I'll do so now. Most of the text editing areas in RapidWeaver are styled text areas. This means that you have the same styling options as we did on the home page. So if we wanted to highlight this text and make it a link, we could do so like this. You can either enter a URL or choose from one of your pages. I'll link this text to the home page, like so. Finally, let's add a blog to our site. To do so, click the plus button again and choose blog. Double click the page and rename it as blog. To add your first post, click the plus button and add a title here. You can then add content to the body of your post by pasting in some text here. Once you've done that, let's go to preview and see how the page looks. If we scroll down, you can see that RapidWeaver has created the post for us alongside links to the archives for this blog and an RSS feed. Again, if you want to add a title to this sidebar, open up the page inspector and add one here. Finally, before we publish, if you want to update the styling for this theme, you can do so inside of the master style settings. These will update the style settings for all the pages on your site. You can also do this individually via the page inspector. However, I want to update the banner area globally for my site. So to do so, I'll scroll down the style options here and find the banner area. Let's click on the overlay and perhaps add a 25% opacity black on top of the image. There you can see that the image was darkened and the text here is a bit more readable. 
You can go through all the style options here and customize this theme to really make it your own. However, I'm pretty happy with how our site looks. So let's go ahead and set up publishing. Click the publishing setup button and RapidWeaver will ask you to enter your host name, username and password. If you're unsure of any of these FTP details, please contact your hosting company and they'll be able to help you. However, once you've added your details, click the next button and RapidWeaver will set up the publishing for you. The final step you need to do is choose the folder which you want to publish to. Again, if you're unsure of which folder this should be, please check with your hosting company. In my case, it's public HTML. So I'm going to choose that folder and then RapidWeaver will add the publishing destination here for us. We can then click the publishing button to publish our site up to the live server. But first we need to enter our web address or domain name. For this video, I'm using rapidweavertraining.com. Once you've entered that, click the continue button. RapidWeaver will then ask you to save your project. Then your site will be exported and published to the live server. You can then click the visit button and see your site is now live on your domain name. You can scroll through your content and click through any of your pages that you created. And it's as simple as that to create and publish an amazing responsive website in RapidWeaver 8.